Lucas Media. So Shakur Stevenson had an interview released today. A shout out to AK and uh, Barack. Is that how you say his name? Barack? And he just talked about several things. He talked about hurting himself versus uh, uh, the Los Santos, Devin Haney, and the future plans with top rank. So let's just start out with the elephant in the room. He talked about his last fight. He did say that he was hurt. He said that his MRI, that they're going to probably release his MRI, I guess his team, I don't know, doctor, somebody, but they planning on releasing that soon. Um, he also talked about how even though he had an off night, he did admit that again. He said, I had one bad night and people are jumping on me saying it's the most boring fight. But he also talked about how even if he was landing shots in the 12th round. But people wasn't able to see that. But he said that he could also, if, if he wasn't hurt, he would easily have beat uh, the Los Santos. But he did say that he was a tough opponent. I don't know. I mean, it just, honestly, yeah, people have off nights. But Shakur, the way you dog Devin Haney, It's only right that it comes back to you. And don't take it personal. I mean, it's boxing. Because guess what? If you go knock somebody out your next fight, everybody will forget. So it's just, you got to you gotta know that that comes with it. Also, he talked about Ryan Garcia. I, remember, I forgot to mention that. Ryan Garcia. And he said that Ryan Garcia is a bum. And he's going to end up fighting him. But he did say that it would have to be at a catch weight. Well, if Ryan's at 140, and if you call him out, then Shakur, I believe that you got to go to 140 and fight him. Um, you know, forget all that catchways, Ryan. He's not going to do that no more because, according to Ryan, he was weight drained. And he feels like Tank and them team did that on purpose for an advantage. So, you, I, Ryan not going to fight you at no catchweight, man. Shakur also was sneak dissing Devin Haney, and he said that his plans is to stay at 135 pounds and become undisputed. And he said that he don't want to fight one fight and get all the belts or get an email saying he's an email champion. And well, now we know Shakur is not moving up anytime soon. Because with the politics, and it'd be at least a year, two years for him to collect all the belts. However. I don't have a problem with him trying to become undisputed at 135. If he cleans out the division, him and Tank will obviously have to fight because Tank will probably still be down there too. However, regardless, Shakur, Devin Haney had all the belts first. So people are going to say you collected all Devin Haney's belts. Because Devin Haney was the real undisputed when he beat George Cambosas and then he for, uh, gave up all the titles to move up to 140 and Got the WBC champion there. And they also talk about top rank. And he said he got one more fight. But he don't know when the fight's going to be. And he was kind of uns- He didn't really say what he would do after that. Honestly, I think that Shakur should be able to kind of be like how Devin Haney is. And bounce between networks. Have his own promotional company. Because he'll have all the. Well, not all the belts. But. His name, he does have a big, He is his name is getting bigger. But I, he probably will sign with Bob Barham and top rank because he's going to have to, if, if he's trying to become undisputed, you probably got to go have to partner up with one of them. But I don't know. If he can do like Devin Haney did and go independent, I would advise for that. I mean, he talked about a bunch of other stuff too. Go check it out, man. Uh, it's like a 40-minute interview with his own boxing. I just kind of want to give a quick... My quick thoughts about it. Uh, sneak this and Devin Haney. Ah, you know, let's give Devin Haney's credit to do. Oh, one more thing. He did say that he feel like he's more accomplished on his overall boxing career than Tank Davis. But he did admit that Tank's a pay-per-view star. And I kind of got to agree because Shakur does have a crazy amateur background. And he has that silver 
medal uh, in the Olympics on top of a uh, couple world titles. So I just want to give my quick two thoughts on it and tell me what y'all think.